Greetings Mac Warriors, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is TTB speaking and welcome back to Mac Warrior Online. Today's video is sponsored and authored by one of you guys. Epic Zero Zero is the official sponsor for the episode and he gave us a nice build for the Kodiak that I had to play and had to try and make work. And let's go ahead and have a look at the build real quick. Now, Ultra Ace 10s in the torsos normal for a Kodiak so far, but then combined with Gauss Rifles, hmm, interesting build, interesting build, Clan XL 385 engine giving us a speed of 65 kph, which is pretty pretty nice for an assault mech, and then we add to that of course lots of Clan UF 10 ammo and Clan Gauss ammo, no heat sinks needed, this thing runs quite cool, in terms of armor you want to take away a little bit of the arms and a little bit at the legs, but make sure you keep the right and left torso as well as the CT quite healthy. If you find that you're dying too much to headshots, then increase the head armor here as well. Now, this mech has an amazing peaking profile, so you only have to expose about one third of your mech up until, let's say, the start of the claws. To be able to shoot at the enemy targets, we have the Gauss Rifles up higher, so that we can shoot with them um, a little bit further and have a better angle on targets and also if we have something that's too far away let's say about 800 meters we just have to expose that much of our mech to shoot at the target with our Gauss rifles okay so much about that let's have a look at the skill build for today in terms of firepower we of course choose the enhanced UAC nodes as well as the Gauss charge nodes and magazine capacity because this thing needs quite a bit of ammo then we go into the survival tree and we take the left side with all the armor hardening nodes as well as the right side with the armor hardening nodes and a little bit of skeletal density. Then we go into mobility, I chose to go with the uh, speed tweak side as well, just to get uh, a little bit more speed into the mech and a little bit more movement power, especially kinetic burst is important for peaking as well as heartbreak then. You walk up, you peak, you shoot and you go back down again. Then I also went into sensors, believe it or not. I chose to go full seismic and full radar deprivation for this. That will allow us to keep peeking, keep shooting and not be um, at the mercy of any long range missiles as easily. So um, again, nice for peeking over, over cover, shooting and then getting back down again before the enemy targets, uh, before the enemy uh, missiles can hit you or do a lot of damage. And then in auxiliary, I went the double artillery strike slash double airstrike route. Well, that is the build for today. That's the build I have to make work. Guys, if you're not familiar with the You Call the Shots patron level, it basically allows you to pick one mech and one specific mech build per month that I have to play. I have to play between 5 to 10 matches to try and see um, if I can make the build work and then share it with you guys. So once again, Epic00, thank you for sponsoring this episode. Guys, if you like this content, Drop him a thank you note down below in the comments and we are jumping right into the first match. Well guys, here we are on our first map of the day in our Kodiak special build. And we are here in Caustic Valley and it is very caustic here indeed. And I'm moving towards the right hand flag here, Delta 5 side, to try and see if we can find some targets and then we can use our side torso mounts to peek and shoot. And there are a few customers already, charge up the Gauss Rifles and duck away. Beautiful, beautiful. Now guys, you have to realize this is a 20 times 2 alpha from the Ultra AC-10s plus the 30 damage from the both Gauss Rifles. So this actually does a very, very surprising amount of damage very quickly and uh, it cannot be underestimated. And due to the fact that the Gauss Rifles basically generate no heat, that allows us to keep firing as much as possible. I'm having to reposition here, however, because my teammates are pushing in now on the left side and I need to move a little bit to the right and now we find a different target. For example, that Dire Wolf that is very, very hot and we give him a nice burst right to the face and then just rinse and repeat on the Dire Wolf again onto his face and drop the Adi on him as well. This will be painful, guys. I'm looking forward to the red hit markers. Come on, red hit markers. They are one, two, three, four. Well, we got four hits out of the RT. Now we reposition again, use our high mounts, check around the corner, and we see Dire Wolf, and we shoot a Dire Wolf, and we twist away, and all the little UAC2 Daka, well, most of it goes to waste. And we are still very safe, guys. Okay, there's an enemy Cyclops who is still very, very fresh. Rocket launches, medium lasers, and rack twos. Okay, another Cyclops. It's a slide near. Let's go in on his CT. Give him a little bit of Daka and back to cover. This is how you play this mech, guys. Go in, shoot, and back to cover. 
And that way you also don't risk jamming your clan, your tents that much, so you can always have them ready for your little burst. And then you go back to cover again. Yep, another nice hit on Lima's side torso, help take out his side torso with the heavy ghost rifle. And we drop back down again and just hold this position because there's no reason for us to push right now. Our team is holding Delta 5 and we go around the corner, find the target, shoot a set target and back to cover. We're not in optimal range for the clan UAC 10 so they may be just doing 8 or 9 damage per shot but that is okay. Some misses coming in, luckily they lost their lock in time and we are safe. And back to the wishing well. And I wish something would die here. Any second now, that die wolf is not looking too healthy now. Team is pushing in. So, of course, naturally, we follow up. We shoot. We kill. TTB has killed communism. There we go. Free markets for the win. TTB has killed communism. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now we just go ahead and push in with the rest of our team. We took quite a bit of damage in trading, but that is a-okay, guys. We are six kills up now, and we have helped do a lot of damage to these targets. So the reason why you see a lot of these guys running around with low health right now is because we were constantly shooting in on them. Uh, I'm a little bit too high right now, so we need to go a little bit lower. And again, there's a Scorch coming in. Is he shooting at me? Yeah, he might be shooting at me. I'm shielding now with my quote-unquote good side. Uh, there we go, another salvo, and he dies! Perfect. 12 kills over 1. This deteriorated quickly. Uh, this, this was a huge escalation. There was a standoff for a long time and then just BOOM! Aggression. I love it. Okay, let's have a look at the scoreboard. Let's see how Epic 00's build did. 2 killing blows, 9 assists, 2 KMDDs, 1161 damage done with 6 components taken out. Well, I would say that earns a TTB seal of approval. Very, very nice build, very enjoyable to play, and uh, also quite cool running. So, yeah, I like that a lot. And here's what I did, guys. I also ended up playing the build a little bit in a few matches together with Majestic. Uh, so this is a group drop right now that we're running. And um, same thing as before, we're trying to go in for targets on the sidelines and just dish out as much damage as possible from um, positions where we can make use of our high mounts. Um, now, since this is Group Q, we're up against uh, some quite fabulous opponents, but we have some good guys on our team as well, so this should be interesting, and I can uh, promise you one thing, it will be aggressive. So, we're pushing into the Gulf 6 uh, Fox 7 area right now, and um, as I said guys, um, you want to make sure that you keep your mech as healthy as possible while still continuously engaging targets and also wiggling your claws at people so that you can say hi. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, by the way, I chose to have a lava lamp in this mech. I don't know why. Maybe to signify my burning desire to do damage. Okay, so what do we have up here? We have a sun spider up front. Okay. Um, and as you can see, enemy team is quite clumped together. That's a nice a little murder ball that they have going on right now. And uh, I can't really see targets properly yet, so we need to get a little bit closer. I think there's somebody over there, maybe with the ghost rifles now. Yes! Uh, success! We hit something. Beautiful. Okay, we've got an ally pushing on our right flank and on our left flank. This is quite nice because that should help us stay relatively safe. We again shoot one shot with the ghost rifles. I didn't shoot the New York 10s there because the New York 10s, the projector is a little bit slower than the ghost rifle and uh, you don't want that to uh, mess up your shot here I'm trying to hit the uh, UAVs with your tents but uh, no joy there but that's okay okay that's an enemy quick draw I believe uh, dropping the artillery strike on the corner here hopefully the team doesn't get hit by that and I'm just gonna move in behind the annihilator now and any targets that he shoots at I will be shooting at myself for example that sun spider he pushes up he tries to hit the annihilator and immediately gets punished by me for that um, so that way you just amplify damage on targets very very quickly and you also make sure that your annihilator doesn't take too much damage okay pushing it further we are one kill up right now and I am trying to go in on the right side now. There's an assassin over there, there's an artillery strike coming in, doesn't matter. We'll just go ahead and walk through that. I'm just getting blocked right now by the Irby. Get out of the way, little Irby. There we go. Those are the targets I'm looking for. For example, that assassin going on the legs. That should have done a quite a bit of damage on his legs. Nice, they're almost open. And pushing through the center now. Oh, enemy catapult coming up. He's a nice and juicy right up front of us. We are very healthy right now, so we can afford to be in the front line. And uh, just hold this angle right here, wait for a little bit, it's still anybody's game, take a few missiles to the face and then go in on the enemy assassin that came around the corner. As you can see, uh, teams are very well coordinated, there was a lot of fire that just came into my face, so 
I will have to go ahead and reposition while we are pushing the right flank. Uh, three kills up, four kills up now, very very nice. Following in with the Annihilator, onto the quick draw, uh, hit the Annihilator a little bit there, sorry buddy. Let's go around him if we can, yep, better. Better. We're blocking ourselves a little bit here, but that's okay. Uh, we're just trying to get in and get some kills for ourselves. The catapult side torso is very, very open. That's a quick draw again. He's not quick enough on the draw. He dies. And we can push in on the catapult that we've worked on before. And we work on him some more. And he dies. Nice. Hit kills over three. This should be in the bags. Enemy Warhawk that gets caught out very, very quickly. Three targets remaining at this point. Uh, hello there. And bye bye. Ghost Rifles guys, really really good at hitting light mechs, so you, not only do you have a nice weapon right here in this build with the UX 10s that can deal shots of Dakar, no no, you also have with the Ghost Rifles an excellent weapon against light mechs, because the projectors are so damn fast. And there we go, all targets taken care of. Let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard. Guys, if you like this kind of video, let me know down below, and if you would like to become a sponsor yourself, head on over to Patreon. One killing blow, eight assists, four KMTDs, 600 damage done, and two components destroyed. And as an added bonus, I also have one more match, this time with in-game voice, without me talking at all. And this is going to be against uh, one of the, uh, or against a team with one of the uh, PGI guys, uh, Bombardale. Um, let's see if this mech can be a successful PGI hunter Colin. as well. Enjoy! And a... <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why we are opening the colons, but okay. Colons. <laughs> it, it literally just like readied up. All systems nominal. Override engaged. <laughs> yeah, I just call it alright. Giggity. That's just gonna make it more of a triumph when we win. And by when you mean kill him. Yeah, I don't care if we lose 12-1. <laughs> I know, right? It is all <laughs> about the one. Uh-oh. Fossil's not gonna smack. Oh no, I said I'm moving on Kilo. Do not follow me. So don't follow me. We don't need two people here. <laughs> I actually got a whole more bunch here. Oh no, we're on the good side. Oh, okay. Good side, good side. The best side. So, where to? I'm confused, guys. I, and I'm also drunk driving, so where to? Fox six. Fox, fox, fox. Fox. Okay. Okay. Target spotted. Fox six. Two lot. Light. Fox shot eight. Affirmative. Roger, roger. I guess we'll go Golf 6 into yeah. Golf 7. If yeah. you die, I'm gonna make it fun. What's coming back this way? Ah, pain from behind somewhere? Contact, absolutely. The enemy has resource point data. That was fast. Target acquired. Got a couple lights. Yeah, they got two cheaters. Got a full firing on Fox 7. Be careful, I got a full firing line Fox 7 up top. On the point. Pushing into Golf 7. Pushing Golf 7. Gamma, gamma, gamma. Got two targets behind, guys. Golf 8. Target Echoes the team. New target acquired. MRM MR, hammer. Indigo. Yeah, take down Bravo if you can. Activated. 
That's a weak airstrike. Oh. Echo, echo, send it towards Echo. Target destroyed. Four of them there in 5-5, 5-6. Golf over there. Oh, golf over there. Right side. Come on. Go for it. Legs, legs, legs. Legs on golf. Legs on golf. Take him down. Murder golf. Come on. Golf set also in CT. Oh, I sacrificed myself. That's painful. Fox on CT. Fox on CT. Congratulations, mate. Good job. <laughs> Juliet, Juliet. Oh, I'm so wrecked. It's not even right. funny. Stream's over. GG. You've officially won the MWO. <laughs> <laughs> we won MWO. <laughs> Set tosses on Juliet. One touch. Uh, guys, the push is behind us. Target destroyed. I was holding them alone. Right. And Charlie, Satosso. Yep, yep, yep. Beating Sox down. I got a light behind us. You have three behind you, I was holding them. You I love you. Uh, two, uh, he has in uh, light. Maybe we're Five targets left. 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 Spotted. One touch CT on that Warhammer. Gamma 6. Alright, I'm going to, going to Sigma, Sigma. Three targets, Gamma 6. I'm not going to matter. There was Jipfu, Apostle, and another guy uh, oh. on Fox 6 trying to I mean, flank us. I mean, guys, we have fulfilled our mission. Majestic got the kill? <laughs> Gee, fucking G. <laughs> Good job, mate. Nice. Good stuff. <laughs> totally mission accomplished. Nope. I cannot believe I, I I ran behind the block too. I thought it was it was a race between you and I because I was pegging him hard. I I mean I threw some LB10s down the down the line and there was a mech like a carcass in the way and I was like I don't know if this.